doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to another foodie vlog video. This week is going to be a really good one because I've got two new recipe books and it's going to be all about one tin slash one dish dishes, so things that you can cook all in a tin, bang them in the oven, and they're going to be absolutely tasty. The two cookbooks that I have purchased from Amazon, one of them is called the Green Rosen Tin, which is this one here. I will link them both down below. And the second is Tin Can Magic. These were both recommended by Anna, the Anna Edit. She's absolutely brilliant. I rave about her all the time, and she was doing a little bit of a cookbook roundup on Instagram. So I purchased both of these. We're going to be cooking three dishes from them this week. Okay, so today is Tuesday, and we're going to be doing a lovely roasted cauliflower dish from Tin Can Magic. So this is the cookbook, it's absolutely brilliant. It's by an author called Jessica Elli Elliot Dennison, I think that's her name. Um, she seems really, really lovely. I had a little conversation with her on Instagram. And um, yeah, she is, wrote a cookbook all about tin cans, which is absolutely brilliant. Some of the dishes uh, do have meat, but a lot of them are meat free. And then this is the cookbook, this is the green roasting tin. We aren't using that this evening, but this is what we're making. So this is a cauliflower, sweet potato, and chickpea tray bake. So hopefully this is what we're gonna end up with in the end. I'm gonna get all the ingredients and run through what you need. Okay, so this is all of the ingredients you're gonna need for this evening's dinner. We've got one whole cauliflower. It's not a massive one, but it'll do. We've got some vegetable oil. You can use coconut oil if you'd like. We've got some turmeric and some cumin, some rock salt, three garlic cloves, whole grain mustard, a tin of some full fat coconut milk, the recipe does ask for full fat. Got some chickpeas, I couldn't find any big ones, so I've got too many ones. Two sweet potatoes, some fresh ginger, and some spinach, and that is everything. Okay, so this is the roasting tin that we are gonna cook everything in, so that's why I'm so excited for these recipes, because it's minimal washing up. We're gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil into the pan. The recipe also says you can use coconut oil if you'd like, or rapeseed oil. Just gonna do a little bit more. So the recipe says that you're supposed to use mustard seeds, but again, we don't have any of those, so we're gonna use whole grain mustard, which does have some form of mustard seed in it, so I guess that's fine. Um, so we're just gonna heat that up and fry that down for around two minutes to release all of the flavor. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna chop up some sweet potatoes into roughly like one centimeter cubes. The great thing about this recipe as well is you don't have to peel any of the veg, so you can just pop it in whole, obviously after you give it a bit of a wash, which we're gonna do. Okay, so we've just added that into the roasting tin and just given everything a stir. The seeds can have a tendency to spit like they are popping up now, so you just want everything on a medium to low heat, just until everything gets covered. And then I was adding the second one in now. And then I'm gonna add in the spices, so we've got two teaspoons of cumin and one and a half teaspoons of turmeric. So I'm gonna pop that all in. Give that another stir. Oh, this smells amazing already. We're gonna add a good pinch of rock salt. And then we're gonna add in the cauliflower that Zara's just chopped up, and we've just give that a little rinse as well. And stir all that together. Zara has just chopped up some garlic, and we're gonna pop that in as well. Perfect, and then just give everything a good stir. I love roasted cauliflower, it's one of my favorite things. And then we're gonna grit in a thumb-sized piece of fresh ginger. That's Then we need to add in one can of full fat coconut milk into the tin and just give that another stir. Okay, so that's been blipping away for around five minutes and the oven is preheating at 200 degrees. So the recipe says you just roast this for around 40 minutes and you stir it after 20 and then it's time to add the other ingredients. So into the oven it goes. See you in 40 minutes. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Literally, it looks amazing. So it's about 20 minutes and the recipe says just give everything a stir. Oh my God, it's just literally, I wish you guys could smell how good this smells. And then we pop it back in the oven for another 20. Everything it goes. Okay, so the cauliflower has roasted with sweet potato and it is just looking absolutely delicious. The last thing we need to do is stir through some spinach and some chickpeas and then it's ready to eat. Yeah. 
So I'm just gonna let the spinach wilt with the heat. And then we are just charring some flatbreads. The recipe says we can use chapatis, but we've just had these left over from lunch, so we're just gonna char these in a griddle pan, and then we can dig in. Okay, so this is the finished dish. One dish dinner, roasted cauliflower, sweet potato, and chickpeas with spinach, and it just looks, it looks so good, so healthy. I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm very, very, very excited. Okay, guys, we're going to go in for the taste. So I just had a bit of the cauliflower, so it's really nice. Here we go. Oh, that's good, you know. Mmm. And completely vegan as well. Oh, I like that a lot. I reckon it'll be nice cold the next time. Me too. There's so much left. We've got enough left for lunch as well. 10 out of 10 dish. Good. Okay. I'll catch you guys for another one a little bit later on in the week. So it's the second dish of our one dish dinners. That sounds confusing. And this evening we are making a delicious, what's it called, escavida? So we are making an escalvida, which is slow roasted aubergines, tomatoes, peppers, basil, and almonds. It sounds delicious. It's from the green roasting tin. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients you're gonna need and let's get cracking. So this is from the green roasting tin. This is this evening's recipe. And then this is the title. And this is hopefully the end result. So it's, we've had some lovely weather today. So this is definitely up our street. So let me show you everything you're gonna need. You're gonna need some whole almonds, two aubergines, some on the vine tomatoes, some fresh basil, which is looking very healthy, some olive oil, pointy peppers, ideally three, but we've only got two, and a bell pepper, one red onion, some salt, lemon, garlic, and fresh thyme, but I couldn't find fresh thyme in the supermarket, so we're using dried, and some crusty bread to serve. These are just some part-baked rustic sourdough rolls. Right, let's get cracking. Right, so we're first gonna prick the aubergines. I've just washed the aubergines, and I'm just gonna give them a little prick. Do we roast them whole? Um, yeah. Sure. We're using a fairly deep roasting tin for this, so we're gonna do one and two. Guys, this, this recipe is so easy. So then we pop the roast, the peppers in as well. So we're gonna do two pointy peppers and then we'll do... And then just scatter the onion around. So we're gonna do one, two, three, and four. Okay, we're gonna do a sprinkle and a thyme as well. I love thyme, so we're gonna go heavy on the thyme. Okay, so five garlic cloves are gonna go directly in. One, two, three, four, and five, yeah. So we're gonna drizzle some olive oil over this just to make sure it all roasts evenly. Fab, yeah. Sprinkle some rock salt over. I love using rock salt in recipes that roast. I just think it gives the most amazing flavor. So we're gonna go salt, yeah. We're just gonna coat everything in the oil and rosemary. Make sure the onions are nice and coated as well. This is gonna be so delicious. I love roasted garlic as well. It's one of my all time favorite things. It's the smell as well. So good. That's all coated, looking good. So we've just popped in six vine tomatoes. These vine tomatoes taste amazing. There's something about keeping them on the vine that just makes them so good. So we're just gonna pop those in as well. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna pop that directly into an oven. This has been preheating at 180 degrees and needs to roast for an hour. Easy peasy. Okay, so the veg has had an hour to roast and it is looking amazing. It said it's done when like the veg has started to char, which it has the smell. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how good this smells. We've got to scoop out the garlic to squeeze that out into the dressing and then it's pretty much ready to eat. Okay, so now we've removed all the garlic. So I was just gonna sprinkle over some whole almonds. Amazing. And then we just need to pop that back into the oven to roast for 10 minutes. Okay, so back into the oven it goes. And I've also popped some baguettes in there just to keep them nice and toasty. Roasted garlic is honestly one of my favorite things. It just makes it go so sweet. So we should just be able to just push out the garlic clove. It just goes the most amazing color and it's just so sweet. So we just need to pop that into our dressing. Okay, so the veggies have roasted. We're just gonna scatter over some basil leaves, which is perfect. Fab. And then we're gonna drizzle over the dressing, which is the olive oil and garlic. And, uh, amazing. And we've got some bread in the oven that's just about to come out. I'm gonna dish this up. So this is the last dinner in our one dish, three meal midweek 
thing. <laughs> um, this is going to be a very delicious and simple leek tart. It's a very warm dinner it is, so it's perfect because we're just going to have it with some spinach salad. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to show you what you need. So this is the recipe. It's the Creole Spiced Leek Mushroom Tart from the Green Rawson Tin. It looks like this, which looks amazing. Uh, it serves four people, so we need ready roll puff pastry, cream cheese, paprika, cayenne pepper, lemon juice and zest, black pepper, sea salt, mushrooms, olive oil and baby leeks. Couldn't find baby leeks, so we've just got regular leeks. We've got the pastry and we've got all of the other bits and bobs, so we're going to get cracking. I think this will literally take half an hour, which is a dream. Okay, so the recipe says that we have to get a roasting tin that is big enough to accommodate the pork pastry, which this is, perfect. So we're gonna use a whole sheet, and then we just need to fold in the edges, just to make sure it's nice and smoke, like this. And this is a non-stick roasting tin as well, so we should be absolutely grand. Perfect, and then roll the sides over like that. The now Zara is just doing the leaks, so Ideally, you want them to be the width of your tart lengthways. So we've got four leeks in total. So once these are quartered, they should be good. Yes, half that again. Perfect. And then just take that to the sink and just give it a rinse. In the meantime, I've just put all the cream cheese in a bowl and then I'm going to add some cayenne pepper, paprika, lemon juice and zest and a pinch of salt. Okay, so I'm gonna spread the cream cheese mixture all over the base of the tart. Oh god, this is gonna be delicious, I can tell. Zara's just chopped some mushrooms, so we're gonna pop them into this bowl, and then we're just gonna drizzle them with olive oil, I guess this just stops them from burning. And then the recipe just says to just sprinkle the mushrooms over the tart, so it creates like a nice even bed. Okay, so then we just need to sprinkle it with a little bit of salt, and then we take the leeks, and then we just arrange them on top of the tart. So as I always cut the leeks up into quarters, so we just want to make sure it's a full, uniform shape. Fab! Right, I think that's good. And then we just drizzle with olive oil over the top, that'll just help it go nice and crispy. And then this needs to go into a 180 degree oven for half an hour, and then it's done. So the oven it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna wash these potatoes and I'm gonna thinly slice them up and then pop them in a roasting tin and I'm gonna roast those as well. No, this is technically now using two tins. The recipe doesn't actually call for this, but these do need it, so I thought they'd be quite nice to have with the dish. So I've just thinly sliced up the potatoes and now I'm gonna season them with some salt. And then I just got some rosemary from our garden. So I'm just gonna do some olive oil over them as well, give them a nice little coating. And then I'll just grab the rosemary stalks as well and pop that in. And then I'm just gonna toss all that together and pop that in the oven as well. Okay, so the potatoes have had about half an hour to roast and they are looking, oh, they look amazing. I'm just gonna dish everything up. And then this is the tart. Oh my God, it literally looks amazing. I love that they've just like browned a little bit as well. Oh, I cannot wait to dig into this. So this is the plated up tart. It looks absolutely delicious. And the potatoes and the salad. Start to finish that must have took maybe 35 minutes. So easy and I kind of waste to dig into this. So dinner was a roaring success. That was absolutely delicious. So I'd probably say that was my favorite followed by the chickpea and cauliflower bake. And then the third favorite was the roasted aubergine. So delicious and so easy, literally one dish. And with this one, there's so much left over. So if you have enjoyed these one dish dinners and you're gonna give them a try at home, do let me know which ones you're gonna give a go and there will be plenty more of these coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you could give the video a thumbs up and also click subscribe, that would be awesome. I will catch you guys in another video coming very soon.